is hardly ever, let's discover something new today. It's, here's something that we have limited understanding of, let's improve on that. It's made contact. Neil deGrasse Tyson just leaked Voyager's terrifying discovery in space. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outer edge of our solar system. Join us as we explore the mystery of the far reaches of our planetary system and find out how dangerous the universe truly is. The heliosphere is the protective bubble of solar wind encompassing our entire solar system, and beyond it lies the interstellar medium, the matter that fills the space between stars. This boundary, the heliopause, is exhibiting peculiar ripples and forming odd angles. These eerie occurrences have caught the attention of researchers as they unveil the unexpected behavior of the heliosphere's border. The findings show that the very border that protects our solar system and all its planets is shifting, implying that the heliopause is dynamic in nature. The heliosphere extends a staggering 11 billion miles into space, surpassing Pluto's orbit by over twice the distance. Solar wind originated from the sun's outermost atmosphere, known as the corona. This region emits a flow of protons and electrons. This coronal region is typically outshined by the sun's bright surface. It remains invisible to the naked eye, requiring the use of specialized instruments or the opportune moment of a total solar eclipse to take a look at it. The surface of the sun is much cooler than its corona, which is an aspect that has eluded scientists for years. Even today, solar physicists still don't completely understand why the corona is hotter than the surface of the sun. Despite its extraordinarily high temperatures, the corona appears dim in comparison to the sun's surface. This apparent paradox arises from the corona's significantly lower density, nearly 10 million times less than that of the sun's surface, rendering it much fainter. The solar wind, composed of charged particles emitted from the corona, embarks on a swift journey through the solar system, hurtling at velocities ranging from approximately 250 to 500 miles per second, adopting a plasma state. When the solar wind encounters Earth, it launches a flurry of charged particles towards our planet's magnetosphere intricately weaving along the magnetic field lines, ultimately converging towards the polar region. While we've obtained a plethora of scientific data about the far edges of our solar system thanks to the spacecraft, did you know that the Voyager 1 probe almost died in 2022? Voyager 1 is roughly 14.8 billion miles away from Earth, and it's roughly 45 years old. Anything can go wrong with this ancient vessel that's unbelievably far from home, especially when you consider that we don't know much about this distant realm of our solar system. The craft is in interstellar space. It's being constantly bombarded by cosmic radiation. It was never designed to survive in this place. It was meant for a simple five-year mission, but it's continuing far beyond that initial plan. NASA was baffled by an odd incident that occurred on board Voyager 1 in May 2022. Instead of its usual health and status updates, the spacecraft's Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, started producing jumbled and unclear data. The AACS is in charge of pointing Voyager 1's high-gain antenna toward Earth. NASA was perplexed by the data being received since it seemed random and devoid of any relevance to the real status of the AACS. Voyager 1 itself appeared to be operating flawlessly, despite the strange reports from the AACS, which added to the mystery. Contrary to the inaccurate statements in the reports, the radio signal from the spacecraft remained strong and constant, showing that the antenna was still appropriately pointed toward Earth. Additionally, Voyager 1 science systems carried on with their routine tasks, gathering and transmitting data as if nothing were wrong. Oddly, the AACS anomaly did not activate any fault prevention system intended to launch the spacecraft's safe mode in the case of a malfunction. Now remember, Voyager is extremely far away from Earth, so it isn't easy communicating with this probe because of the simple reality of physics. The billions of miles of space between Earth and this craft result in a communications delay of 22 hours. And that's only one way. If you ask Voyager 1 a question, you'll have to wait 44 hours for an answer. But it seems like the team is quite used to this immense delay. Fortunately, NASA engineers successfully diagnosed and resolved the problem that had affected the record-breaking spacecraft, Voyager 1. After four months of diligent work on a remote diagnosis and fix, they achieved a full recovery. Voyager 1 came back online and resumed seamless communication with ground control as if the issue had never occurred. The remedy for the problem was surprisingly straightforward. The issue was traced back to the AACS, which had been erroneously sending telemetry data via an onboard computer that had ceased functioning years ago. The defunct computer had been corrupting all the outgoing data. The solution was as simple as sending a command to the AACS instructing it to utilize the correct computer for transmitting data back to Earth. However, a lingering challenge remains, the investigation into why the AACS had switched computers in the first place. 
NASA speculates that the system might have received a faulty command from another onboard computer. Though it does not pose an immediate threat to Voyager 1's functionality, identifying and rectifying the root cause is crucial to prevent any future irregularities. Even if there are more irregularities, Voyager 1 is in good hands. It also helps that it's equipped with redundant systems in case the primary ones fail. These systems were of immense help in 2017 when Voyager 1 encountered another technical issue. In 2017, Voyager's one primary thrusters became degraded, meaning it became less efficient at producing thrust. Luckily, it had another set of thrusters that were used for the planetary encounters with Jupiter and Saturn. The team switched to these thrusters and were surprised that they worked even though they weren't used for over 37 years. These thrusters extended the lifespan of Voyager one by about two or three years. The reason why they are important is because it allows the probe to orient itself toward the Earth in order to communicate. But the stream of pressure coming from them lasts mere milliseconds per use. They work in pulses to gently rotate the craft without causing it to go into an irrecoverable spin. It was a risky move to delegate orientation responsibility to a pair of thrusters that were unused for 37 years, but it resulted in success for NASA. Of course, this only happened after days of careful consideration and many delayed messages to the craft. While Voyager 1 and its counterpart Voyager 2 will continue their journey into the depths of space indefinitely, their remaining time is limited from our perspective here on Earth. These venerable probes are aging, and their plutonium power sources are gradually depleting. Sometime during this decade, the spacecraft's power will eventually run out. However, their invaluable contributions to space exploration will continue to resonate for generations to come. When asked what he thinks about the Voyager's 40th anniversary, Neil deGrasse Tyson emphasized the importance of looking forward rather than dwelling solely on past achievements. According to the astrophysicist, constantly looking back can become an excuse for complacency, hindering progress, and preventing new breakthroughs. He says that looking back too often results in nothing happening going forward. Even though looking at milestones and celebrating anniversaries can show that you care about the subject, Neil insists that planning for the future is the best way to show that you care. That's exactly what NASA is doing with a new probe known as IMAP set to launch in 2025. Its objective? To study the heliosphere. Let us know what secrets and discoveries you guys think are waiting for us in this unknown realm of the solar system, and stay tuned for more in the future.